Look at all these bitches. Goblin Juju said, Hooey, 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 hooey.
Oh, hi, everybody. Hello. Sorry, I started a little bit late, uh, just a few minutes late. Um, I was scrambling to get all my stuff ready, all my beverages and whatnot. And also, I had to make a run to, um, I don't know if any of y'all are familiar with Ollie's, but um, yeah, they're having a big sale tonight. So I went to see if I could grab a couple things, but they had already been wiped out. So anywho, I made it back. We're not that far off time. Okay, let me switch over. Oh my god, look at that. You can see my shame. Heaven forbid. Okay, there we go. Should be better now. Uh, Juju, thank you for being first. You are the best and most important, and you are the least smelly. Unless you want to be the most smelly. I'm not really sure in goblin culture which one is preferable. I'm guessing the most smelly. But whatever you would like to be, you are it. Because you were the most important goblin of the day. Oh, stinkling goblin. All the things. Hello, my love. Both. I'm not, but I knew a, gay, a guy named Ollie. A gay named Ollie. Um, I like the name Ollie. Their advertising at that store is very weird, and it's, yeah, it's very strange. But I like it, question mark. But they were having a big sale tonight, and it was chaos. Like, it was absolutely packed to the walls, or like from wall to wall. Um, but hello, Cavs. How's it going? I was watching you play some Resident Evil 4 earlier, but I was like, I was mostly lurking. I was in and out, because I it seemed like you were close to the end of the game and I didn't want too many like spoilery things so I was just sort of in and out occasionally appreciating Leon's arms even though they were you know kind of gross looking <clears throat> but um anywho how's everyone how are you guys I'm still waking up you're teaching Junie a streamer bot ooh what is streamer bot is that like is that kind of like mix it up or stream elements or something? I'm not familiar with streamer bots. Yeah, he's hot in a gross way now, all right. <laughs> he will always find a way to be hot. So tonight we are going to be doing the death nut challenge. Well, that's nice of you to, um, to help him out with that or help them out. Excuse me. Um, Help them out learning that. Um, but yes. I am not familiar with StreamerBot, but I've had a lot of help from friends learning Mix It Up, and I like it. I like it. Okay. So, this is the Death Nut Challenge. Um, hold on, let me go to... Let me go to a bigger one. There we go. Okay, this is the Death Nut Challenge, and um, it consists of five packets of very hot nuts. Each packet gets hotter and hotter and hotter, of course. So we're going to be doing one of those every hour. I'm going to go ahead and start with the first one, and then about an hour from now we'll do the second one, and so on and so forth. It's going to be miserable. And it's not, like, Watha was asking last night, she thought it was just one nut. No, it's it's a whole pack. It's a whole pack of nuts that I will have to consume. So, yeah, it's, it's going to be probably not fun. I think it'll be fine until about the halfway point, and then I think it'll start getting miserable. And that's why, like, the very end of the stream is when I'll do, like, the, the last pack. Because I have a feeling it's going to destroy my esophagus and my bee hole and probably make my stomach hurt. So, so yeah, there's that. But that's what we're going to be doing. And we're starting Resident Evil Village tonight. I have seen bits and pieces of Village, but I have never played it myself. So I don't really know what to expect. Like, I know the first portion with um, uh, Lady D pretty well oh. my ankle definitely definitely my ankle 
Okay. So. Oh my god. My other ankle. Are those super loud to y'all? They're very loud to me. <laughs> um, or are they okay? The sound alerts. Oh no. <laughs> oh, I love that. Um but yes, we are going to do pack one, which is mild. But even though it's mild, it says it's a special blend of Carolina Reaper, Dattle Peppers, and the deliciously warm West Indies Scotch Bonnet. So I don't know what most of those are. I know what the Carolina Reaper is, but that doesn't sound like mild, but we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead. They're fine. Okay. Thank you, my love. Also, I hope work is going well. I'm sorry you're stuck there extra today. I know you've had a very, very long day. Oh, God. These don't smell pleasant. These nuts do not smell pleasant. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna try to do it in two mouthfuls. I'm gonna try just one at first. Okay. I will say their version of mild is a lot hotter than most people's versions of mild. Mm. Mm-hmm. They are quite warm. Oh, this is going to be rough. If this is the first pack, this is going to be rough. Oh. oh, God. Oh, the water made it worse. The water made it worse. I believe in you. And I promise I'm not like putting on. It's hot. It's hot. I'm going to get milk. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to get me some milk. Because like. I'm not. I'm not acting like my eyes are starting. <laughs> the, this is the first pack and it's already insanely hot. Oh, God. Yeah. Okay, we did the first pack. Oh god, my tongue is on fire. Like, absolute fire. I can't believe that's the mild. <sighs> that emote? Yes, very that. Very that. I'm trying to refrain from drinking milk right like with the first pack but I might have to actually it's like I'm I feel like I'm breathing fire right now I, oh dear god okay I will be right back y'all give me just a moment um damn we're gonna here watch some uh watch some watch some watch some watch some clips okay I'll be right back This game is going to give me a freaking heart attack. Done. <gasps> Son of a bitch! Oh my god, that sh I can't. I can't, y'all. I I don't know if I can do. Oh, oh, oh shit! <laughs> Why is it not this? Okay, suck my ass. Let me just die. Everyone. Okay. I 
feel like it's so awkward. <laughs> he gets fixed. <laughs> right here by the lips. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Don't look at me. <laughs> Don't you look at me. <laughs> this is a lot of fanfare for one kiss. Just do That's it. That's nasty. <laughs> I love you, Bob. Love you too. Mm -hmm. It's not right, but it's okay. I'm gonna make it anyway. Shit! Damn it! I can't believe it got me! Well, I totally ran over that creature. Is it dead? some work, but for his first time doing makeup. Oh, look at it bounce. <laughs> oh. I'm sure your friends will be missing this tonight. Yeah. Why don't we read and go <laughs> look at that, that uh, look look at that sexy model on the front. Yes. And we uh Whoa. Those gay porn. Gotta throw it in my cheeks. I am feeling it in my cheeks, in my throat, in my tongue. That's a wall. Okay, I have returned. My mouth is still on fire. I drank some milk. I blew my nose because my nose immediately started running. Um, this is gonna be tough. I didn't think it was going to be that spicy from the beginning. That was a lot. <clears throat> All right. Um, so yeah, we're starting Resident Evil Village. I've seen the first part with like Lady Dimitrescu. I've seen that part because our friend Matt played through this game. Um, but beyond that, I don't really know too much about it. I know one of the other people actually i know i know like the the leads of the village or whatever i guess you would call them but beyond that i don't really know much about the game oh, this is going to destroy my my digestive system all right well, let's switch over also, huge thank you to my husband for buying the Death Net Challenge. Unprompted. Unprompted by anyone. He just went and did that for me. That's so sweet. So sweet. Okay. Um, gonna go ahead and start it up. And y'all will have to let me know if things need to be turned down. I think, I think everything is okay right now. I think everything's at a good level, but... If not, y'all let me know. I went ahead and I adjusted the settings, like I turned on the subtitles and things like that. Um, so I've already checked some of the settings, so hopefully everything is <laughs> is ready to go. <sighs> I think my body is trying to reject the nuts. It's like, mm, are you sure you want to swallow this? And the answer is no. No, I'm not sure. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do the full packets on all of them. I might have to do just like a small handful of each one. No nuts for you. Your body says be a spitter. <laughs> normally, normally that is not the case. But uh, in this case, my body is rejecting it. I love this opening start screen. I'm like, look at that. It's so creepy. We've got the, the tattered scarecrow blowing in the snow. Love that. This game made me quit after an hour. Hi. Hello, Nino. Yeah, I'm kind of worried about that because I know I've seen the beginning portion uh, when Emmy played it and when Matt played it. And it seems very confusing and the werewolf, robo werewolf part. Um, so... Oh my gosh, Cody, hi. How are you? 
Uh, you talked about doing the death chip challenge, so I was proactive and went ahead and got you something similar. Yeah, but the death chip challenge has literally one chip. This is five packets of hot, hot, hot nuts. <laughs> but it's fine. It's fine. Thank you for taking into my or taking into account my love of nuts. I didn't feel bad about uninstalling it because that sloppy mess. Cavs gave it to me. Oh wow, wow! Just wasting Cavs money. But yeah, uh, I'm excited to start this up. Um, I think we've yeah I've already set all that stuff up, so we should be good. And hopefully the audio is good for y'all. Yeah, you're welcome, whore. But yeah, hi, hi everybody. I'm doing all right. And I appreciate y'all for coming in. Apologies, I probably should have waited a little bit longer to do the first of the, um, just because we've got some new folks who have popped in here. We're doing the Death Nut Challenge. Um, so every hour I'm going to be doing another packet of very spicy nuts. And we just did the, the first packet and it was incredibly hot. So it has me worried about the other packets, but we'll be doing one of those every hour and it's going to be, it's going to be awful. <gasps> Hi, Dagger Hill. Yes. An early stream. I had to get through the death nut challenge. So, so I wanted to start early. Okay. Let me start. Yeah. But yeah, I am, um, uh, I'm going to put it on casual because I know myself, y'all know me, anybody who's been coming to this stream for a while knows that I suck at games, um, so I'm putting it on casual, I just want to get through the story, hopefully, and uh, I don't feel bad about it, so I'm just trying to enjoy the game, enjoy the game, aka being terrified. I know um, THB Cody is from the Horror Bandwagon. And I know that they have been playing through this on their channel on YouTube. So if you're not following them, please go drop them a follow. They are, wait, TBH. Wow. How embarrassing for me. <laughs> go check out the Horror Bandwagon on YouTube. They've been playing through this. And they just played through Resident Evil 7 recently. And they also do a movie and show reactions. They are hilarious and they're handsome and wonderful. So please go check them out. Also, if, um, let's see. Oh, it's starting. Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence. The bushes. Love this animation style. Yet determined to find the berry, the rascal broke free of her mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries stayed a gasp as the girl ran on over vine and under branch and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled mother's scary bedtime tales and her throat became bone dry. Then the Pat Lord appeared. He greeted her. Yes, warmly. there we go. Hopefully that's a little bit better. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. So she drank the thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. Delicious blood. Menacing storm clouds loomed, and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared, and with a clip of his fingers, crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come, that's the creature giving me the death nuts. He coaxed, so she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Across waters deep and ominous, she went. Hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Then the fish king appeared and offered one of his many fins. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. Continuing on, she soon entered the forest's dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear the creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift wow what a greedy bitch the horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters 
Look at that bat baby. Filled the girl's heart as the wild wind rose around the beast. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark yet regal. Gifts he gave, but more he took, she sighed. So more in turn was given. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. There. She's asleep. So, this isn't canon to my playthrough. Is that loud enough, or does it need to go up? I know they're speaking quietly right now, but... Sound is good. Okay, thank you. Because she doesn't understand it. Thank God. We moved here so that oh, she wouldn't have to do me. any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. Ooh. You're just being paranoid. It's not... Never mind. I'm sorry. But I'm not paranoid. I'm just cautious. Then, go cautiously put your daughter to bed. So... Dinner. Like I said, this is not canon to my playthrough because I did not choose Mia. I did not choose to save Mia. I did not like Mia. I don't want to be married to Mia. And yet here we are. Okay, Rose. Your mother doesn't work remembering. And it's a chonky baby. I can't blame her. I just had the misunderstanding of the century, so there's that. Misunderstanding? Nothing. I'll put her down. <gasps> You're gonna put her down? I'm gonna look around the house first because you know that's just what I do. Examine. Ooh, cute. Okay. We love us some kids shows. Okay. Are we examining the bottles of wine? Once you're a big girl, we'll have a drink together. All right. Oh, how sweet. One day. Look at Mia, pregnant with our child, what I assume is is Rose. I don't know, though. Oh, Mia. What a miracle. What if she's like, um, I, you know, I, I played Seven recently, and I've already forgotten the names of the characters. But, uh, what if she's like the little girl in that? What if Rose is like her? Maybe she's infected with... Maybe Mia got impregnated with something or... Whatever. I don't know. You hungry? No? Maybe later then. Don't get too close to me when I'm cooking, babe. A bitch. I have to play to find out, <laughs> right? <laughs> hey, what are you doing, mister? She's creepy. I'm searching around my house. What are you doing? <gasps> Baby food. Everything by hand, so this stuff keeps piling up. Well, then why do you keep buying it? That seems wasteful. Rose's food, February 6th. Rice cereal, banana puree. 7th, sweet potato puree. Boiled spinach and cream. Ethan, don't give her any sugar or honey. And no mushrooms. Hmm. So she's very adamant about it not being a fungus. Mm-hmm. Or mold. Not that... I don't think that... Uh, I don't know biology. Um, I don't know if mold is in the same family as mushrooms. Uh, the empty drawers. My favorite thing from Resident Evil 7. Listen. Listen. There, there. That's Gross. What I said to your mom. That book's too scary for you. Your mom and I love this song so much. I'm allergic to mushrooms IRL. This game is my nightmare. Yep. 
I don't know that that would be a problem for me because like I don't ever I mean I like looking at mushrooms I like pictures of mushrooms I like them aesthetically but I have never eaten mushrooms they gross me out I need to learn to try them but what if I'm allergic what if I die what if I'm like you Is there anything else to examine up here? Can I go in the other rooms before I take her in her room? Ooh, I like this bathroom though. Maybe it reminds me of the haunted doll off of Etsy that Calvin showed me. Yeah, she's uh she's a little a little creepy looking. Like look at those hands. They look like they're dead. Mia's medication. She's been on strict regimen ever since. The incident. The incident. Okay. So that's Rose's room, right? Yeah. So let's let's look around a little bit more up here. <gasps> Can I punch it while holding the baby? I should get rid of it someday. Oh, there is an ad starting in three minutes, so just a heads up. Gotta do a deep clean before Rose starts walking. I'll try to, uh, if anything important stops ha starts happening, like during the ad, I will be sure to pause it, just so y'all don't miss anything important. Need it. No. It's technically my child, and got to take care of it, got to protect it. Curtain closes on the Dolby gas incident. The committee completed their investigation on the 18th into Dolby toxic gas leak in Louisiana in 2017. They concluded that the deaths were caused by a leak of natural gas that had built up in the Murdoch, wow, Murdoch, mud rock <laughs> under the area. Jack Baker, 57, and his family, who were exposed to the gas, perished. Ethan Winters and his wife were also believed to have been nearby, but their current whereabouts are unknown. The entire area has been closed off by officials who believe it will be at least 10 years before the area, area is habitable again. Interesting. So this is... The chair, not the baby, of course. Wow, I said the chair. I'm sorry. I didn't know. I wasn't... I wasn't... Uh... I missed the part where you said the chair. Wow, I'm so sorry. I'm a monster. I would never eat a baby, of course. Everyone's forgotten about this. I would never even consider such a thing. But yeah, so that's how Umbrella or whoever the company is decided to cover it up by saying it was a gas leak, gas explosion. Okay. Fine, I was testing you. And you passed? Question mark? <laughs> Maybe. <clears throat> okay. So the ad is going to be starting in just a second. So I'm going to look around in here for a moment. Hmm. Nothing of importance. BRB, brushing teeth and getting snug in bed because I'm what? Gay and British and tired. <gasps> well, I'm very happy for you for being gay, British, and tired. Because, well, I was going to say same, but I'm not British. But I am gay and I am very tired. I'm always very tired. Can't keep your mother waiting. <clears throat> Keep scaring her. She's angry. I bet. I mean, she's tried to cut your hand, or uh, she didn't try. She did cut your hand off before. She stabbed you. Um, <clears throat> Rose's clothes for tomorrow. You're gay. <gasps> oh my god! Did I just out myself? I thought you knew. See, I don't know if I should put her down first or be like searching around first. Well, hi there, little Rose. 
precious, precious things. I can't unsee Rose's dead looking hands after you pointed it out. <laughs> they do look very corpse like, like they should have more color than that. Like granted, it looks like she's a redhead and you know, therefore probably going to be pretty pale, but like that's beyond pale. That's like porcelain. Name, Rosemary Winters. Okay, so this is uh, some doctor's notes. Date of birth, February 8th, 2020. Oh, can you imagine being born in 2020? What an ordeal. Screenings. Uh, okay, so she's 14 point, or well, 14 and a half pounds. Uh, a little over two feet long. Screenings, hearing, time, vision, touch, reflex test. All results show no issues. Patient is in good health. Other notes, results for additional fungal pathogen tests will be provided by the BSAA, Applefield Memorial Hospital. Fungal pathogen tests. Okay. Where can I find those results? I would like to see them. Rose is fine. I hope so. I'm glad that they've had her checked. But, like, where are these results? I would like to see them. Okay, February 6, 2021. Mia and I had another fight. I accidentally mentioned what happened three years ago, and she blew up at me. We finally settled down in our new life in Europe and can bring Rose up properly, but I still feel like a part of me is trapped in that hellhole back in Louisiana. I know Mia doesn't like to talk about it, but can we really just forget everything and pretend it didn't happen? Shouldn't we face what happened there so we can live our lives with Rose without it hanging over our heads? We owe her that much, at least. I know Mia knows this too. She wouldn't have exploded like that at the hospital if she didn't care. Okay. So they're kind of concerned that there might be something up with Rose. Oh, I love that his face is still completely obscured. Like, really? Really? I want to see what he looks like. Is that a picture of her currently in our kitchen, cooking? Oh, so precious. Look at our wee baby. Wow, so it's all about the mom and the baby, huh? No pictures with the dad, huh? None at all. Actually, I didn't look at the beginning. Sorry, y'all. I have to look at everything. It's a requirement. Oh, it won't let me. Lame. Alright, let's put her to bed, I guess. I don't guess there's anything else for me to see. sweetheart don't you worry i'll be right downstairs daddy won't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you oh, okay so i would have been able to look around without her whoops oh well she's fine you you just know that ethan keeps a pinup of chris under his pillow i bet so i mean who wouldn't that big strong Wall of a man. Big, strong, strapping feller. Who gets bigger and bigger with each passing game. Okay, so we've already checked all of this. So let's go back down to Mia. They have a big house. I like their house. What do they do? Once again, no face. How dare they? Three years ago, I couldn't even imagine something like this would happen. Is 
jazz albums you were never able to get when you were young. Oh God, is she okay? she's gonna throw it on my face, isn't she? I don't trust her. I just don't trust her. Oh, hands off, Mister. It's chorba de lagoon, the local recipe. Wow, you've gone full native, haven't you? Local wine too. But if you're gonna keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. You really have to stop worrying. It's just. Finding you in Louisiana, the pregnancy, Chris moving us here, military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. You, me, Rose. Now, everything's gonna Seriously, be- Seriously, you think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. I just, I don't understand why you are so- <laughs> Mia, get down. <laughs> I love how she's just like standing there. Oh shit. <laughs> They're blowing her apart. <laughs> how did he manage to not get hit by any of that? Oh god. Oh my god. He's so Sorry. thick. No! What? Why? That would be traumatizing. Like, I hate Mia, but apparently he was still into her. Um, but like seeing your significant other get gunned down brutally in front of you. Turn up the game a teeny bit. Okay. Chris did nothing wrong. All clear. Okay, y'all let me know if that's better. What the hell are you doing with my daughter? Package secure, sir. Take him away. I said get your hands off her! Ethan, no. Get him out. Hot. Me as a terrorist, who cares? I agree. This was not how I wanted it to play out because like I did not choose Mia in in RE7 I did not I didn't want that to be known I did not choose her they made her spell raspberry jam everywhere uh-huh <laughs> it's just raspberry jam hi death dealer stream's going so good so far except I had to eat a very spicy bag of peanuts no problem we'll be there that was the doc. She'll see us next week. Mia's so creepy. Hey, now. Think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. I keep telling you, it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well, then what are you worried about? Look, she's gonna be fine. I just know it. What else matters? We matter, Ethan! You matter! You just Mia, what are you talking about? Is there something you're not telling me? Come on, talk to me. Cut her hand off like she did to you. Damn it. I have to take this. Yeah, how goes it, Death Dealer? What's shaking tonight? <gasps> Look at that, baby. My little angel. <clears throat> Baby Rose. Jesus. Has that guy been burned to death? Oh no. He just had gloves on. <clears throat> Did that say Chris? Oh, soldier. What are you talking about? Where's Chris Redfield? And Rose? My God. Fuck. What? 
the hell happened to you? Oh, good. Deciding if I should play Coral Island or draw. Um, how about draw, but draw characters from Coral Island in provocative poses? Okay, how do I save this? So, in case I die, I don't have to go through all that again. Oh, well. <clears throat> It's useless. Same. Mission objectives. Eliminate target, recover body, secure Rosemary Winters and Ethan Winters. Move the two Winterses to Site C for further investigation. At least two transport officers to accompany them. Well, something went awry there. Because me and my baby, we got separated and we didn't get transported to wherever we were going. A Kecleon. I want a Kecleon. <clears throat> Draw and then make a group chat of, uh, from the Thirsty Gaze and send them there. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I know Nerd Candy showed me some Mark fan art last night and it was quite nice. I was working on a study of a bust of Diana, the goddess, not Lady D, um, but started napping. Napping is always a good option. So there's tracks that go up this way, but I'm guessing we don't go up this way, right? Or should we? Oh God. Hold on. Let me, let me go back down here. <clears throat> oh, maybe these tracks lead to the same place. Yeah, they do. Okay. OMG, I've seen some Mark fan art, and let me tell you, yeah, yeah, we, we were, <laughs> me and Juju and Nerd Candy, we were looking at some last night. Also, hold on, Mama Wather, I think I saw you um, pluck uh, a Bartleberry, and I forgot to say hi, and you might be asleep again, but hi, Mama Walther, I love you so much. Oh god, something's following it. Y'all are so filthy. Why isn't it in my DMs? <laughs> Gotta run, but I'll be back later if you're still alive. Enjoy the game. Yeah, I'm gonna be playing for probably about five hours or so. Um, so yes, thank you for stopping by and hopefully catch you later. Do not enter. Lovely. Just get under this rusty razor wire. Hopefully I'm up to date on my tetanus shots. <clears throat> this is why we need Thirsty Gaze group chat for gay fan art. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I mean, there's probably whole discords out there dedicated to it. But yes, I agree. My politics. My oh my life. goodness. Edward, thank you so much for the 20 months. My God. Some of y'all are wild. I don't see how y'all have been subscribing us to us for so long, but thank you. We very much appreciate it. And I hope you're doing well, Edward. Zach, as some people call you. <clears throat> oh God, I don't know where to go. Oh God. Look at all the dead boards. Oh, this is messy. Oh, those weren't just killed. They were um, hung up. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Slapping me right in the face. Oh, shit. Beautiful. We're just going to walk past it. We're not going to help it. We're just going to let it suffer. 
Mm-hmm. Oh god. Did something eat it? <laughs> yeah, I have seen the enemies for the first portion of this game and um terrifying. Terrifying. I know it's gonna give me some problems. <clears throat> I'm at work. I gotta go, but enjoy the rest of your stream. Oh my gosh. Edward, well, thank you for stopping by and thank you for resubbing. When I'm texting WB, they send me 15 minutes of audio, but never tells me how you're doing. <gasps> Necromancer. Oh my god. 29 months. Thank you so much, Matt. How are you, friend? I was saying, um, I mentioned you earlier because I've watched you play bits and pieces of this game but as far as like actually knowing the storyline or knowing like i know who the bosses are but i don't know anything beyond that really so but yeah but hi matt can we get an exclamation final boys in the chat please Yeah, I haven't seen WB streaming much. I don't know if they just don't have time to stream much anymore, or I'm just missing them. Sounds or... really mushy in here. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I never know what's going on, Matt. Never. Doing great. I don't remember like 79% of this game, so let's buckle up. You're digging it so far. I mean, so far, they killed Mia for me, so I was happy about that because I never liked her in the first place. But they did take my baby, and I do kind of want to get my baby back. Mia, though, I don't really care about. Can I not shine my flashlight in this window? Oh, God. Everybody buckle your sphincters. Shh, Jesus Christ. That scared the hell out of me. Ethan and Mia are insufferable. Just my personal... They really are. Like, Ethan doesn't bother me a ton, <clears throat> but Mia, I... Like, I... I don't know if they meant to make her such a dislikable protagonist, but, like, she truly is. Like, she's an awful character. I don't like her at all. only kind of want to get the baby back like it's okay if you just can't right oh yeah 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 i'm okay like i've accepted it it's kind of like with mia in the first one i'm like mm, i'm okay not getting her back i'm about to rinse off and start my game collection for an hour and then not play anything no you gotta play something also matt i was gonna message you but since you're here um is there any point in the next couple of weeks that you would want to get together on the dick cord and watch treevenge because me and wather want to i'm just gonna go through these people's house <clears throat> oh i can't i can't take any of this stuff like not that it's going to be much use but i would like to take it the brushes and the ropes and whatnot fine This game is very dark. Is that an herb? Was it once an herb? Absolutely, we gotta watch some holiday horror. Maybe see if we can do a chaotic viscera night or something. Yes, please. Yeah, I know you're, you've are you got all your festive holiday things going on, so I didn't want to bug you, but I would like to spend a little bit of time with you watching some holiday things. Me and Wather, we watched uh, Home Alone 1 and 2 last night. I know I'm progressing very slowly, but I'm scared and I stall, so y'all are just going to have to deal with that. I love that, like, Ethan and Leon, they just have no qualms about going into strangers' houses and just starting to, like, root through everything. Like, mm, this is mine, this is mine, and, oh, what, you're mad at me being here? Well, I'm gonna kick you in the face and then shoot you. Mm. 
Love that. Love all of that. It's great. It's great. Oh god. I remember being in that closet. There were better clothes back then. Never bugging me. I just work and then with my tidbits tidbits of free time we adventure, but it's tough. Uh, some of the best holiday movies ever. Let me know what day works for you. Okay, yes, I will text you. I will text you and see if we can line up something. Oh, God. Oh. Just go deeper in that dark hole. No monsters down here, promise. Uh-huh. I'm sure. I'm terrified. Like, I'm literally... I'm hesitating with every single step I take, and I'm sorry, but I'm scared. And, like, this is the shittiest flashlight ever. Like, it's, it's not producing enough light for me. Mm -hmm. Don't be, it's funny. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Cavs, have you played this one before? I assume so, since you gifted it to to uh, Nino. If there are thumps coming from the wardrobe and blood leading up to it, what? What? Oh my god! Something's gonna fall out. Something's gonna fall out. Okay. No. 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 Okay. I have it. It's on my next on my list though. Oh, I gifted it to him for Christmas. Gotcha. Raspberry jam. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Raspberry jam just everywhere. That makes me think of the Simpsons. No, kids, that's just raspberry jam coming out of his ear. Oh good. Oh god. It is so dark down here. It is so dark. Oh my god. So dark and so scary. It really is, and I really have to pee. But that's probably just the fear. Oh my god. Pee your pants, it's natural. Make me cooler than Miles Davis. Oh, I'm going to vomit. I bet like hours from now, Cody from the horror bandwagon will come back and I will barely be like an hour into the game. Are you really about to crawl through this raspberry jam? Wow. Ew, honey. And this is somebody who cleans blood off of things for a living. But I don't touch it with my bare hands. Gross. Who did all this? Gotta yeah, lick it up. <laughs> I actually made a sound command of Nerd Candy and Goblin Juju making that 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 type of sound, but I haven't actually activated it yet. <gasps> Tyranna, hi friend. What you up to? How you been? How's your wintry holidays going? Time for nuts. Oh my god, it has been an hour, hasn't it? All right, I guess it's time for the next packet of nuts that are going to make my esophagus burn. Put holes in my esophagus. 
Okay. How do I save it? Let me save. Or does it just auto save? Oh god. Oh god. I'm over at my parents' house this evening. I'm about to make some apple butter and coquito for them. Oh my god. Tyrana, that sounds amazing. I love apple butter and I love coquito. I have not made any coquito yet. I might do that this weekend. I might do that this weekend. Oh goodness. All right. Did you see the official launch of Outlast Trials? Is it worth the pickup? <gasps> uh, listen, Matt, I'm so stoked. I immediately sent the trailer to my brother because it's coming out on um it's gonna be coming out on console. He doesn't have a PC. Um, but it's going to be coming out on console and it's going to be cross platform. Um, so I am so stoked to get to play with my brother. I can't freaking wait. I'm so excited. Like the fact that I have to wait until March sucks, but I'm so happy that I'm going to get to play that with him because like normally I don't get to play our scary games with him, like devour and stuff. But yeah, I'm very much looking forward to it. And yes, please get Outlast Trials. Please, please, please. I think you would love it. You missed the Halloween event, but they're about to start a winter event. So uh, it should be a good time. But uh, okay, I am going to go take a quick BRB and then I'm going to come back and we're going to be doing the second packet of nuts from the Death Nut Challenge. So uh, I'm going to be miserable because the first pack was terrible. So it's going to make me suffer, and I'm gonna bring some. Uh, I'm gonna bring some milk in here. But all right, give me just a sec. Um, let's see, one sec, y'all. Okay. Give me just a moment and I will be right back.
Okay, so we are back. Um, I I have the second packet of the Death Nut Challenge. This is spice level medium, and it's called The Party is Starting. Um, it has Carolina Reaper, Ghost Peppers, and the Wicked Seven Pot Brain Strain Pepper. Can't wait. I can't wait. I bet by the end of this, like, I'm just gonna be having, like, nightmarish diarrhea. Oh yeah, Matt, the first one was mild, and it was insanely hot. Like, I had to step away because, like, my nose was running, and I desperately needed some milk. So, uh, yeah. I, I don't know who's leveling these, but they did not start out, uh, weak. Okay. Alright. And again, I might not be able to eat the whole pack on these. I'm gonna do what I can. Medium, featuring two of the top four peppers out there. Uh-huh, ain't very that. Okay. I'll eat... I'll eat a handful of them. Technically, this is designed for two people, but my husband said that he wanted no part of it, so, you know. All right, I, there's a handful of them. Hmm. I just noticed I'm getting Mm-hmm. It hasn't hit yet, but it will. Are they good at least? No. Not really. The uh, pepper coating on them makes them not, not taste good. I don't know what this is. Oh, God. Oh, okay. I did bring some milk in here. <sighs> All right. I'm going to try to eat a, a couple more, but I'm not going to eat the whole pack. I just can't. I can't eat the whole pack for everyone. God. Even the milk doesn't make it better. It still just burns. Oh my God. I had some Carolina seasoning last night and it ruined my night. <laughs> you got this, thank you. Next fundraiser stretch goal should be nerd eating these. I agree. My tongue feels like it is literally on fire. It feels like it's being dipped in acid right now. The eyes watering. That's how you can tell I'm not just putting this on. <laughs> like, I'm not faking this. It is very hot. It is very, very hot. Oh, God. I heard slamming mustard and ketchup <laughs> on your face feel, uh, helps with the heat. Yeah, you've got to... And, and you can't just, like... You can't just like put it in your mouth directly. You have to set it on the, the counter and squirt it up into the air and like, like, yeah, get over it. Oh my God. All right, let's attempt to go back to the game. Oh God. I thought you were chugging cold medicine for a second. <laughs> I want to, anything that would help. I don't know that cold medicine would help, but I am willing to try anything. Okay, let me turn off the music and we'll get back to the game. I'm still going to be breathing fire for a little bit. <clears throat> 
Okay. Oh, goodness. Oh, God, it's so hot. And my stomach is already revolting. It's going like... Blah, 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 blah. Do I have any ammo? Nothing? I can just put my hands up. Great. Wonderful. <clears throat> L to climb over. Oh my god, what did I miss? <gasps> Flannel, hello. You missed, um, I ate the first two packets of the Death Nut Challenge. And I've made it about three minutes into this game because I'm terrified. I like the snow though, it's very pretty. But yeah, hi, Flannel. What you up to? How are things? Three minutes into the game, but the stream's been going for over an hour. I know. I know. I get very. <clears throat> I stall a lot when I play horror games because I get very scared. Ooh. Look how pretty. That is gorgeous, especially in the snow. What does that sound? Where the hell am I? God, my mouth is burning. Oh, it's a crow. It reminds me of like, um, you know how Maleficent had Diablo and like her other minions that would like fly around and spy for her? That's what it reminds me of. And also in, you know, Lord of the Rings, the, the birds that were spying for Saruman. Imagine being scared, can't relate. I know, you're so you're such a big brave boy. I wish I could be like you. Getting the work week, yeah. <clears throat> work sucks. I hate that we have to work. It's such a oh, why did the horse have to die? Um, work is so miserable. I mean, I know we have to do it to pay for our lives, but God, it's just so awful. I just try to go do my job and get it over with and come home. I definitely don't bring it home with me. I used to. I try my best not to now. I re I really want a weapon. Like, I'll take a pitchfork, I'll take a piece of wood, I'll take anything. Oh no, those eggs are huge. Maybe, maybe they're out? Mm-hmm. An easy lock to pick. Well, if I had a lock pick, I would. <clears throat> Something's been here recently. A lucky shirt. Thank you. Er, how are you, friend? <clears throat> Return to hunter-gatherer mode. I wish. That's the plan. That's what we're working towards. We want to have some property, grow our own food, do our own thing. One day. We're getting closer to it. Not quite there yet. There's another one of those pictures. Where do we find... I want a lockpick. Where do I find a lockpick? Or a bobby pin? Anything. Okay, well... Oh, God. Hmm. Ooh, an Ursa ring. Just emptying my personal septic tank. What are you doing? Ooh. 
Now, do you mean for your house or do you mean you're emptying your bowels? Like you're moving your bowels right now while you're talking to us? <clears throat> Everyday normal household chores. My own personal BM, yes. Okay, very nice. Nice. Yeah, you know, it's good to, to keep yourself healthy with some firm stoolies. Firm, but not too firm. Imagine pooping. I know. Couldn't imagine. No. You just let it build up in you your entire life. It's what, it's what makes up the bulk of your, your body. Huh. So... What am I missing here? Like, why would they give me a drawer with a lockpick if I hadn't already supposed to, like... I'm assuming I missed the lockpick somewhere, but I don't know where I would have. I feel like I've been... Pretty girls like us don't poop. I mean... I'll have to take your word for it. I'm not I'm not a pretty girl, so I don't I don't understand that life. I wish I did. I long for that life. But it's just not made for all of us. See me in drag, don't lie to me. <laughs> I forgot about that. That was an adventure, wasn't it? Do I go this way or that way? Oh my god. This place is huge. Do not enter. Baby Fuss, hello. How's it going? Welcome in. Do not enter. Maybe I wanna. Maybe I wanna. I don't like them telling me how to live my life. Okay, so I'm gonna go down here. Please give me, watch me find a lockpick and then not even be able to remember how to get back. <laughs> I'm so terrible with directions. I'm good in you. I am doing very well. I'm very stressed out about this game. Oh, shit. Thank you for the follow, baby fuss. Much appreciated. But yeah, I am good. I'm going very slowly because I'm terrified. Scary games are not my forte. I play them because I, I like them in theory, like I like the stories, I just don't like having to play them myself. You're given all this space to explore and they're not giving me anything. For the love of God, give me something. Give me a knife. Give me anything. You've played so many scary games. I've played quite a few. I've played quite a few. Not a ton, but some. If I hadn't seen that in chat, that definitely would have gotten me. <laughs> I just happened to turn my head as you were entering it. Get it? I'm a baby bitch for the scary games. Yeah. I, I'm glad that you understand me, though. I'm glad that, like, because you're like me in that you love horror, but playing horror games is terrifying. Hmm. I streamed this once, but I literally got lost in the castle and was just burning through resources and then gave up and never played again. One of the last games I streamed, I think, before I stopped and came back. That's one of the things I'm worried about, because, like, right now, this village seems huge, and I'm worried about getting lost, because, like, I get turned around really easily. Um, my English is not the best, sorry. Oh, you're fine. It's okay. 
And normally we can understand what you're trying to say. Like, we have some other folks whose first language is not English, so it's all good. Oh, we're back here. Or is this, yeah, this is the same place. Terrifying, totally different from film. I was coerced into playing through that gray alien demo and absolutely dreaded every second of it. Nice. I played another one called Cordosis that was about aliens. And unfortunately, I did not know, but it was not finished at the time. I, it was only like one chapter and I was very sad, but it was terrifying. And I'm looking forward to They Are Here. Is that the, uh, is it, I think that's probably the one you're talking about. The demo for They Are Here. Oh god, because I really want to play that. <gasps> it's Rose's monkey! Why do they give me the options to open these things if there's nothing in there? It just gets my hopes up. Oh my god. I have literally no way to defend myself. Uh, what's the scariest game everyone has played? Personally, Resident Evil 7 for me, because it was my first real horror game and it hit different. Um, Outlast was definitely rough for me. Like, the very first Outlast, that was probably the scariest game I've ever played. And then Resident Evil 7 was up there. Like, it put me through it. And Resident Evil 2, honestly. Like, those games, those three, any and Outlast 2... It was it was scary, but it didn't get me as much as the first one. But yeah, definitely the first Outlast. It really put me through it. We have those uh we have those vods on YouTube and sometimes I just go back and I'm like, god, I was a big baby. But now I can play through like Outlast Trials with no problem. The Last of a series. You beat Outlast 2 for me, so I didn't have to. Uh-huh. Still PT to this day. PT was terrifying. I'm finding nothing. Like, literally nothing. Give me nothing, honey. Give me nothing. Okay, let's go the other direction this time. We'll see what Kojima is cooking up with Jordan Peele. Yes, I can't wait. Like, I'm intrigued. I know the trailer didn't give us much, but I'm, I am I want to keep it that way, kind of. Um, Because, yeah, like, it seems interesting. I'm definitely on board for whatever it is. And I know, uh, you know, Nerd Candy has been playing through Death Stranding, and... Now that the story is going, like, it's really weird and very intriguing. Uh, Outlast 1 is probably second, but it got old and shock value wore off quick. Phasmophobia and VR was seriously some scary shit, especially when you're alone. Yeah, I don't... VR horror is a whole different level that I just can't do. I cannot do VR horror. It's too much for me. I like all the goat heads. I was hoping maybe there would be something in the wells, like in Zelda. What happened? Ew, it's still drippy. I think this game won a Game of the Year category, didn't it, for its VR adaption? Oh, really? I didn't know that. I still, uh, I can't do scary VR. I will literally start to fight someone. Yeah, I, I've tried. I tried Resident Evil 7 in VR, and I I literally, I just, I could not. My nerves couldn't handle it. Play some Signalis. 
I don't know that that style of game is for me. Like I've I've seen Juju play some of it, and I don't I don't think that it's the game style is something I would be interested in. It's a neat game though. Like I enjoyed watching Juju play it, but I don't think that for me personally I would enjoy it. Let me see what this says. Locked due to missing homeowner. Okay. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I liked uh I liked seeing you play it. Wait, is that me? Okay. Yeah, and I <clears throat> I feel like it was in a um a humble bundle recently. I don't I don't know for sure, but I felt like it was. Maybe I'm thinking of a different one, but I know <clears throat> I know Juju's entrance sound. I think that's from Signalis. <laughs> Locked. Oh, my stomach is not happy with those nuts. Dear Lord. It's just over here going. <laughs> 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 Why did you clip that? <laughs> Weirdo. <laughs> Am I, did, did I miss something? Am I supposed to have a knife by now? Oh, okay. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Hilarious. Oh god, first aid, thank god. Okay. Ooh. I like their uh their collection of skulls and antlers. Nice. Did they just run out of the house? We're looking at this soup a long time. Like, look at those. That's something I would have in our house. We had things like this in our house. Nothing down low. <sighs> okay. Wait, I can't go through here? Oh, okay. No, no. Shit. Friendly. Friendly. How did that not hit me? Who are you? Who sent you? It's like point blank range. There was an accident down on the road and... Oh god. What's going on? What the hell was that? You have a gun? What? Please tell me you have a gun. No, why would I? Oh, thank God. Take it! Take it! Tell me it's out, bro. Hey, oh, my God. Listening? Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Oh, I hate it. I'm gonna die. Gonna die. Gonna die. Shit. Dead body. Lots of dead bodies, apparently. There's more. Bro could have spared more considering he died two seconds later, right? <laughs> like, could have left me with that shotgun or, uh, you know, literally anything.
He didn't need it. He could have protected his death. Jesus Christ. What the hell is wrong with this place? Huh. I'm just adding the bodies to the pile. Like, they're not. Wait. What is that? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, my God, my poor hand. Ethan's hands have really gone through it. Holy shit. Oh, my God. And see, I don't know if these are like zombies. Like, do, is it best to like run from them or do I try to shoot? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, I wasted a bullet. What the hell? Oh, God. Do I go back in here? I don't know. How do I save? How do I save? Or is it just auto save? Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm assuming it auto saves. Oh my god. Chem fluid. Okay. New materials that can be crafted. Okay. Like, how. Why is everybody always after Ethan's hands? That poor man. His hands have been through so much. It is so dark. Okay, this is where I just came from. Okay. So I need to go maybe out here. Okay. Um, hold on. Let me. Hmm. All right. Well. Bolt cutters. Nice. Okay, so I can cut open the gate. Sweet. Oh, okay. They have a craving only hands can satisfy. <laughs> I guess so. I better have kept those. Oh, okay. Why? Why would you not keep those on you? What if you need them somewhere else? Why would you just drop them in the snow? That makes no sense. I think these nuts are going to make me poop in my pants. And the game's going to make me pee in my pants. Oh, good. Oh my god. Locked from the other side. Great. Any eggs? Nothing? Okay. I was hoping it'd be like Resident Evil 4 where you can have like eggs to restore your health. This does give me Resident Evil 4 vibes. Oh, 
work on, yes. Nothing. The radio is dying. Ethan acting like he hasn't things seen things just as horrific two years earlier, right? Yeah, he's... Oh, sh What? You can barricade, barricade doorways with shelves? Oh my god, go! Go! Oh my god, go! Ethan! Oh my god. Oh my god. Thanks for the lurky loo. Thank you for the lurk denim. Or denim. Flannel. Why did I call you denim? It's weird. Oh my god! Jesus. Oh god, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Oh my god. Okay, I don't know what to do. Denim? I know. I'm a monster. I am a monster. Oh my god. Die? Mm-hmm. Probably. Oh my god. 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 I don't know. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Oh my god. Hundred and seventy lay? Is that the money in this one? Is it over? Probably not. Probably not. Just love your full denim tuxedos, that's why. I bet flannel would look lovely in a full denim tuxedo. Louisa's house near the fields? Dear God. I hate this. I hate it. I hate it. Like, I'm just supposed to assume that they're gone. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to hit it with my knife. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I- Oh god. Oh god. Hold on. Okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Okay. Damn it. Revive the attack. Oh, sh oh my god. Oh my god. I wasted. Oh my god. I wasted. I wasted my bullet. Oh my god. Oh, what an idiot. No. They're 
There's no end to them. Okay. Um Chem fluid. Where did the gunpowder go? Oh. Oh, crafting. Okay. So So I can't make that. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Oh shit. Oh shit. Wow, Joshua. <gasps> Damn it. Urgh. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, where do I go? Where do I go? Oh my God. Oh my god. Oh my lord. Okay. 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 I have no idea where I'm going. It's locked. Of course it is. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my freaking god. What even is like what? Oh my god. 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 Okay, go, go, go. Oh my god, I have no idea. I have no idea. Oh my god. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. They can ride horses? Oh my god. Oh my god. How? I have no way to beat a boss right now. We got Werewolf Santa Claus coming through here with this door hammer. Jesus Christ. Oh, so they're leaving because of the bell tolling god it's like in resident evil 4 where you have to like wait for the villagers to hear the church bell 
And they're like, Lord Sadler. Dear God. Bells jingle. It must have really been Santa Claus. Not liking this. Trophy earned. Wonderful. I get it. Puns. Hilarious. Okay, so I definitely need to heal. Okay. Oh, dear God. That was too much. All right, so I'm going to look around the town before I go that way. Because I assume they're gone. I hope they're gone. This is these are places I've already been, so eh. I don't know if it's worth really backtracking. Something about you being scared in a snowy town is a whole cozy mood. <laughs> Lovely. Well, I'm glad that it's uh it's giving you them cozy vibes. Okay. Oh, I could have blocked that. Lovely. Good to know. Mrs. Claus must be up here waiting for me. I keep hearing her bells jingling. All right. I guess I guess there's nothing that I missed. Although I did run a long way. Already been there. Just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. <clears throat> oh, see? Rusted scrap. And gunpowder. So now I can make more bullets. So it seems like the ones that I killed, at least I was able to go back and, and pick up the loot. So I'm happy about that. I was worried it would just disappear. It's like I keep hearing something on pause, like, running around. In life and in death, Hag. We give Same. Glory. Uh, hello? You shouldn't be out here. It's not safe. What the hell? Hey, can you hear me? Uh, it's you. The child's father. Child? Hey, wait. Do you mean Rose? Is she here? <laughs> Rose! Rose! Yes. I like her. She's already She's my favorite character. Danger. Since Mother Miranda brought her to the village, we have fallen into darkness. What are you talking about? The monsters? <gasps> the castle bell heralds danger. They're coming! <laughs> no. Weren't they just here? Where's Rose? Who's Mother Miranda? The bell tolls for us all. They're coming again! <laughs> Wonderful. Dear God, I can't... Hello, creeps! Oh my gosh, Elira, thank you so much for the raid. Oh my God. Hi, Rut Road Trolls of Mag... Oh, wait. Rut Road Trolls with Magic Flying in. Hello, everybody. Hi, Elira. Hello, Kodoma Tree. Kodama Tree. Why did I say Kodoma? 
Kadama tree. Listen here, you monkey bitch. tree. Hi. Welcome in, everybody. The trolls have escaped the dungeon. I love that. Hi, Elyra. You were playing Sea of Stars. How is that? Uh, I've never heard of it, but I know, um, I think our friend, um, the Fallen Ancient Hunter, I think he's been playing through that. So how are you liking it? Pretty dance partner. Oh my God, are we going to dance? Kodoma, I know. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Kodama. Uh, I love them so much. They're so cute. I thought about having them tattooed on me one time at one time, um, uh, but I never ended up getting it. If I end up getting my, um my like studio ghibli ghibli i never know how to say it um if i ever get my leg sleeve that i'm wanting of them i will uh i will definitely get them on there sea of stars was a lot of fun thanks we did a bit of demonologist first then switched over to sea of stars for the end nice uh does demonologist do they have like a christmas event going on or um are they just back to their normal because i know they had a halloween event but i don't know if they were doing a christmas event or not but um, I've been wanting to play because it's been a minute. Got my ass kicked a lot in Demonologist. As usual. Demonologist is hard. I've died probably about half the times that I've played. It is very hard for me to make progress. And then I lose my money and my my um equipment. So then I have to buy it again. And everything's so expensive. Like a candle is like $600. It's wild. But yeah, it's a fun game though. They haven't done a Christmas event yet, but maybe they still could. They did the Halloween event closer to Halloween. Gotcha. I want a Yubaba piece. <gasps> Matt, so do I. That's the main thing I want. That's like the main piece that I want on my calf is Yubaba. And then I want like other characters around Yubaba. Uh, troll gets spooked real easily. Oh, same. Same, same. Because like I am... Um, I'm, I've been playing or I've been streaming for about two hours and I've barely made it into this game because like I'm so terrified to move. So, uh, yeah, that's where we're at right now. I'm very stressed out. But hi, everybody. And again, Elyra, thank you so much for the uh, raid in. If y'all are not following Elyra, anybody who was here hanging out before the raid, please go drop Elyra a follow. They are lovely. They have a lovely accent, and I like their face, and they play a lot of cool games that we like to play over here. So please go check them out. And uh, I guess we will continue on with this game that is terrifying me. So bummed we get in, couldn't sneak into the theater to see Heron this weekend, but Ghibli movies are so stunning. Yes, I'm going on Tuesday uh, to see it. I didn't get a chance this weekend, but I'm definitely going to check it out on Tuesday. My secrets. <gasps> My secret shame. She said they're coming. They're coming again. I hope those werewolves don't come back because honestly, my, my heart can't, I, I can't handle it. Should I go in here first? All right, uh, BRB, going to take the wolfer out and grab a snack. <gasps> the snack, oh, enjoy your snack. And tell the pupper I said hi, give him pets. It's Godzilla last Friday and Heron this week. Two big ones for us. Can't wait to hear what you think of it. Yes. Yeah, I I haven't been able to go see Godzilla yet. I went to go see um I went to go see San or no, Saltburn. I went to go see Saltburn this week. And I want to get into the theater to see Godzilla and I want to see the boy and the heron this week. Oh great lichens, the fabled monster wolves of old. May they come to eat our flesh. May they come to tear us apart. I mean is this something you're praying for? Seems like an odd thing to want to... Odd way you to want to die. Oh. Hold on, there's a journal. Okay, I didn't realize there was a journal. Okay, February 9th, dawn, some forest. It should have been a night like any other, but then Chris Redfield came in and destroyed our family. He took Rose away, shot Mia right in front of me. I was knocked out and now I'm in some forest in the middle of nowhere. What the hell is going on? February 9th, early morning, village square. I found a village just outside the forest, but one of the villagers was attacked and dragged off by some kind of beast. 
I managed to survive those creatures, and an old woman told me Rose is here somewhere. I need to find her before those monsters get to her, too. Oh. How do I go to the next page? Or can I go to the next page? Mission briefing. Mission objectives. Oh. Okay. We... Okay, scribbled note. Okay. Cool. All right. Um, also, for anyone who might be new here, uh, this is a channel that I share with my husband, Nerd Candy. He streams on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and sometimes on Fridays, and I stream on Sundays and Mondays. Hi, I'm new. Hi, new. How are you? How's it going, Monkey Steve? What you been up to? I feel like I haven't seen you streaming much lately. Have you been taking a break, or have I just been missing you? It's probably... It's probably me missing you because like I um I have been really slacking lately when it comes to Twitch. I've been in like this weird like mood where I've just been watching like YouTube videos. Life has been lifing. Ah, got you. Yeah, I definitely get that. I definitely get that. So, no pressure. I just I felt like I hadn't seen you around. But hopefully life is lifing in a good way, or will start to life in a good way. I streamed three times in November, and one of those was a delayed October stream. Oh no. Gotcha. Well, I definitely understand. There have been periods where, like, if my husband hadn't been streaming, then this channel would have been inactive for quite a while. Because I know that I've gone through periods where there was just too much happening, and I just couldn't deal with streaming in addition to everything else. So, I totally get that. Bullets? Bullets? Bullets anywhere? Bullets? No. No bullets. Okay. <gasps> Is that a Cimeteraria? Okay, I can't get in there. Super. I am kind of glad that it is limiting where I can go, though. This needs some kind of other item. Okay, I guess I need a crank. <gasps> Less than three to you as well. All the hugs. Sending you good vibes and warm fuzzies and all that good stuff. Can't go in there. But yeah, like... As much as it's frustrating to not be able to go in these places, I'm glad that it's limiting me and not wasting my time. Ceremony site, Castle Dimitrescu. Hmm. Okay, we checked there. We checked... Over there. Wait, did we check that door? Yeah, okay, I can't go in there. I'm guessing this looks like it's blocked off, so I'm guessing we can't go this way, right? Locked from the other side. Okay. So, let's head through the cemetery up to Castle Dimitres. My husband is home. Oh, this is cute. We offer these goats of warding to protect the village and its people. Any who break them shall feel Mother Miranda's wrath. Adorable. Oh, is that the thing I'm supposed to be breaking in this one does anybody know if this is like the the thing that i'm supposed to be breaking like the bobbleheads from seven i feel like it is but i don't know for sure
A mill tank. Not a mill tank. That big titty Pokemon. That sounds awkward, but it's a cow and they have large udders and they swing them around, so. Castle Demetresque. To the castle. So we need to find a demon face. We've got the goat face. We need a demon face and we need, uh, I guess a woman's face. Write that down, write that down! Remind, fix links with old Raver Gideon email. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Thank you, my love. I forgot about that. But hi, welcome home. I love you. Find a way to open the castle gates. Okay. Well, where should we go? Is that the demon face? Oh no, that's the maiden crest. Okay, that's the <laughs> that's the woman's face. <laughs> Super. Mm. Also, let's do a shout out. I know you're taking a little bit of a break for life things, but y'all should go follow Puzzle Monkey Tree. Are you a demon and or a woman? Me personally? Because yes. Uh, ooh, Cocoon. What is that? Is that based off like the movie Cocoon? <gasps> that would be amazing. Um, but uh, yes, go follow Puzzle Monkey Tree, aka Monkey Steve. Um, they play a lot of chill games, but they also do some action adventure type games like the Resident Evil games and things like that. Um, very chill vibes, very lovely person, very lovely accent. Uh, so please go drop him a follow. Oh, thank God. Oh. This whole time, I haven't been able to save. <laughs> Thank goodness. A puzzle game. Otter just released a video essay about it today. Oh, really? Interesting. Okay. I'll have to check that out. I haven't heard about it. <gasps> I noticed that person as Lady Dimitrisk. Is that Mother Miranda that they keep talking about? Okay, so these are the leaders of the village, I think. I don't know their names other than Lady Dim Dimitrescu and Mother Miranda. Um, yeah. They're traveling between worlds and putting the worlds in other worlds to solve puzzles. Sounds weird, is weird, and is excellent. Interesting. Okay. I will definitely have to check that out then. Time for nuts. Thank you so much for the reminder, my love. That's so sweet of you. I am going to have to take a break at some point because it's destroying my intestinal system. But, you know, that's probably a lot of information, but it is what it is. Um, okay, so let's switch over to this screen. Hi, so you can see me tear up. Um, okay. Um, my love, if you're listening, I have a glass in here. Would you come get it and fill it with milk for me? Miak? Oh, there's an ad happening. Oh, I gotta wait for the ad. Okay, I'm gonna run and go get some milk. I'll be right back. Um, since there's an ad happening, I'll uh, just be back in just a second. Excuse me. <sighs> yes. Seems you have something rather interesting there. Is she talking about my penis? Country road, take me home to a place I belong. And I'm not charging a thousand biddies for turtle sex. What am I doing with my life? What? Oh, what? <laughs> okay, that was kind of hot. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Ew. Why is it wet? We gonna do that hand thing. Hold on. We doing that hand thing? We doing that hand thing? We gonna do that hand thing. Okay. 
Isn't it sad that I didn't even know where my own nipple was? I was like, wait. <laughs> I now have the horse head on my head. Y'all know why. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah, slide it all the way in there. Get get up to the elbow. Come on. You can see her buns. <laughs> Look at that titties though. My feet is wet. My tits are wet. Put it in me. <laughs> this isn't working. This is vulgar. I tried to push you through. What are you doing to my corpse? Play the heck out of Lego Star Wars back in my game. What the fuck just happened? <gasps> Bitch! What? What a sweet love. What a sweet knees. Love it. Stop it! God bless! Jesus Christ, I hate it. Oh, it's coming towards me. Oh, it's coming towards me. Oh, it sees me. Oh, it sees me. Oh, God, it, it burns. It burns. Oh! oh, my God, what? Oh, you son of a bitch. Jesus Christ. I was very nearly dead. Oh. I know I saw something shiny. Good job. Oh. Oh, this one is like hideously deformed. I'm sure it still tastes just fine though. Look how weird and wonky it is. It can't help it. Some of us can't help that we were born ugly and misshapen. Fuck me! Oh shit! I've only gotten one group. Are you fucking kidding me? It was like a shower! A golden shower! <laughs> okay, this is uh, it says gay and trashy. So, just like me, gay and trashy. Look at that chunky thing! Look at that chunky thing with them little old legs. So, okay. Oh, son of a bitch. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna shoot my cream everywhere. Oh my God. <laughs> She's beautiful. Do you ever feel like a plastic bag drifting through the wind? I don't know the words. Thing. It's a muscle, so you need to be winning here, I think. Sure. The muscle. You mean these? Oh yeah, look at all that muscle, y'all. Look at that, look at that giant uh, bulging bicep. A chance to do that. Oh, they were in her pocket. Don't break my heart, my achy breaky heart. Just don't think it understand. I am... Ooh, he was like dragging his testicles across my face. Sweet zombie Jesus. Don't you grab that. Okay. Came back just in time to prevent you all from having to see that traumatic elephant scene. Um, but hi, everybody. Well, I, I, yeah, welcome back from the ads. Um, I am about to do the third packet in the spicy nut, death nut challenge, and I'm dreading it. Cheeky Philosopher, hello. Thank you for the check-in. And if you just want to lurk, that's also fine. But um, Cheeky Philosopher, thank you so much, and welcome in. And thank you for the... Uh, sub the follow and the subscription earlier while we were offline. Much appreciated. Hopefully you knew that you didn't have to do that, but we appreciate it um, very, very much. And I'm glad to see you. Juju, thank you for the check-in. All right. So next up in the Death Nut Challenge is packet number three called Question Your Commitment. Um, it has Carolina Reaper, Seven Pot Dougla, and a double shot of Ghost Peppers. Super. Love it. Love it. Yep. 
Mm -hmm. All right. Here we go. Pray for me. See, I don't know which is worse, like eating it all in one go or like eating it in two smaller bites. Oh, God. And they smell terrible. They smell terrible. These nuts smell awful, my love. Oh, God. The two smaller bites was not the way to go. Hmm. Contains peanuts. Warning. I misspelled it. Throw me off a cliff. Oh my god. How terribly embarrassing, my love. Goodness gracious. It was right there, too. Right there in front of you. Oh god. Uh-huh. My love, if you are available, can you do me a favor? Can you come get my glass and fill this up with almond milk? I know almond milk isn't going to help the burning, but I need something. The tears in my eyes are real. Please milk an entire almond cow. <sighs> okay. I don't think he's coming, so I will be right back. Oh, okay. Oh, or just bring me a glass. <sighs> Good Lord. I'm so sorry y'all are having to watch this. But eh, the suffering is what people paid their community points for. Oh, God. <sighs> oh. Well. Sorry, I should have played some music or something while I'm waiting. Um... We'll get back to the game here in just a sec. These are so hot. Like, painfully hot. And I still have two to go. Dear Lord. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Oh. The tears. <laughs> the filth. Hi, Goof Geek. You have arrived at a moment when I am suffering. But hello, welcome in. It is always lovely to see you. Weekend, men. Oh, God. It's like unbearably hot. I'm going to go back to the game screen so y'all can't see me crying as much. I don't know that I'm going to be able to do the last two. Dear God. It is 
it is really, really burning my tongue. Like, a lot. <sighs> oh, no, 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 no. This is number three, yeah. Oh, God. <clears throat> Dear Lord. Should disaster fall upon the village, seek out the crest. One is in the care of the church. The other is at Luisa's house. <clears throat> okay. So I'm at the church. I need to go all the way down the road. Down to Luisa's house. Okay. So that's got the demon crest. And I just got the, the maiden's crest. Yeah. <sighs> Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm regaining my composure now. Those are hard to get through. Like, oh my god. Oh. I wonder if you're actually supposed to eat all of them at one time. I don't know what that... Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, one sec. <sighs> I get thirsty. Think of it a hydrate. Very much needed that. Okay. I've got to fix something right quick, and then I will be back to the game. I mean, just a moment. Okay. Um... that change my love so hopefully that'll help <clears throat> also um, you might have to verify your email possibly which I think they send you an email and uh, you like click on it or something I don't really remember but I'm sorry it's being a hassle <sighs> Sorry, y'all. Those, those peanuts are really putting me through it. I did not expect them to be as intense as they are. I really thought it was going to just be, like, kind of spicy. I didn't think it was going to be, like, nightmare spicy. But, okay. So we're at the church. So we need to go... Actually, let's go ahead and get... We need to find this crank. Hmm. Yeah, we need a crank. Oh, okay. So we've got to go down past the graveyard to Luisa's house. I'm guessing where that light is. Let's go ahead and put this in, though. That way it's not in our pocket. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh, 
<laughs> put it in. Oh my god, I did. I put it in real nice. And I turned it just right. My high philosopher has like do you want to go by cheeky or philosopher? I'm back to your chagrin. You've screamed yet? Oh, this is exactly where I stopped playing. Is it? Why did you stop? Were you just frustrated or were you turned around? Like couldn't find where to go or what? Okay. So now let's go down here. Oh, those peanuts are destroying my stomach. Like, I hope I don't have to go to the hospital after this. My stomach is not having it. Hmm. Well. Can't go that way. I was constantly stressed out by the scares. That and the other games I was playing had my, my attention more. Gotcha. The bad username. Cheeky works for me. It's not a bad username. Um, but okay, Cheeky. Hi, welcome in. And again, thank you so much for the follow and the subscription earlier while we were offline. It was very kind of you. Locked from the other side. Well. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Hey, look, there's a lock. If only I had kept that lock, uh, lock cutter, the bolt cutter. That would be fantastic, right? End of war, graveyard, church. Hmm. What is this? Iron insignia key. A lock pick. Oh, there's a lock pick in some place down here. Okay, let's get this lock pick. Where's it at? Oh, it's saying I have to have a lock pick to get into it. I see. Okay. I thought it was saying I missed a lot, Pick. Well, hell. How foolish. <gasps> but it is good to see you, Cheeky. Cheeky. Also, if you want to go by your government name, like your, your real name, just let me know. I can switch to that as well. <laughs> but I didn't want to dox you. I don't know why I keep coming here. Okay, let's look. Um, Iron Insignia Key. Lockpick. Outer Gate. Hmm. So is Luis's house like all the way down here or like right here? Okay, so I can go down. Wait, no. It's showing I can go through this way and I can't. That's a lie. Hmm. Can't go in there. Can I jump over this? No. See, it's showing these as clear paths when they are not. They're blocked. Mm. 
<clears throat> no one knows I'm Tom. That's fine too. <gasps> okay. Well, I just wanted to make sure you were comfortable with it. But hi, Tom. <laughs> Hello. Ooh, give me the herb. Have you played this before? I don't know what types of games you play. All the gaslighting. It truly is. I'm being gaslit by the map. It was like, here, here's a lock pick. Oh, no, we mean a lock that has to be picked. Um, and then it's showing two different ways to get by. And neither of them are accessible. Save point. Okay, I did save. Um, I really don't know. Because I'm guessing I can't go back this way, right? Alright. If anybody here has played this and wants to give me a gentle nudge in the right direction, that would be appreciated. I know I've got to find a crank, but, like, I don't... I haven't seen one anywhere that I know of. Iron Insignia Key. Did you go to the church and the houses at the back of it yet? I went to the church. Um, let's see. Wait. No. Wait. Maybe I didn't go up this way. Oh yeah, no, I did. Yeah. That's the ceremony, whatever, right? Yeah, can't get in there. Decorated with a six-winged being. Always after that crank. Get that crank. Okay, get that crank. We're going to work on finding that crank. See, we went to the church. Oh, I didn't come back here. Okay. Oh, jump, jump here. <laughs> Bogo. How are you, Bogo? Thank you for the uh, the jump scare. That was lovely. How kind of you. Okay, thank you, Nino, because I I missed this behind here, so I appreciate that. Oh God. What's shaking, Bogo? What you up to tonight? Okay, I need to craft some more. Uh, or can I craft more? Okay. A mine. Open the inventory and register weapons to shortcuts. Okay. Good, good, good. I will take all the ammo. Yes, please. Oh my god, they're giving me options to push this shit in front of the door again, so that means the werewolves are going to be back. Oh my god. Oh my god. This looks beautiful aesthetically though. Like this looks amazing. Oh, um Tom, to do it, you have to do exclamation point poke start. Like all one word, poke start. Yeah, and it'll give you one and there you go. It gives you your starter Pokemon and it should give you like one or two balls. So then you can do poke catch and um, it takes a while for you to build up like money to buy extra balls and stuff. But um, usually if you every time you see a Pokemon, you wait a few minutes and then you should be able to do um, this 
Shouldn't be able to do Poke Shop, Poke Ball, two. Uh, you might just be able to do one at a time initially because uh, it takes a while to like build up the money. But yeah, it's fun. I like it. We like playing the Pokemans. Oh my god. Please leave me alone. For the love of god, leave me alone. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Okay. I'm all turned around. Okay. Okay, we're fine. We're doing fine. We're fine. We're fine. They're giving me so much ammo. But I mean, I'm glad because these things seem to take a lot and there's like tons and tons of them. You're doing great. You're doing great, Bogo. You're doing great. Also, how are you, Bogo? I miss you. I want to see you and touch your beard. But only with your consent. And you don't feel you don't have to feel like you have to give me your consent. Oh, how do I get that? I want to touch Bogo beard too. Yeah, Bogo has a very nice beard. It's lovely. How do I get over to that? Aim for the head. I'm not as I'm not good at headshots like you are. Oh shit! Oh my god! A bitch. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sad that his teeth are better than mine. Whatever, you're so stupid. <laughs> I just noticed that there's an ad. Um. All right, so we're waiting on the folks to get back from the ad. So we'll give them, it's over in about 10 seconds. It should be. <clears throat> Whew. Yeah, those last two packs, that's going to be awful. I will definitely have to end once we do, like, the last the last pack. That, like, immediate end right after that. Welcome back, my love. Stay back. Please, don't hurt us. Whoa, it's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. 
I'm just glad to see normal people at last. Have you seen any other survivors? No. They're all in Louise's house. And she's not answering, and the gate is locked. Quiet, girl. He's an outsider. Oh. I'm just trying to get away from the wolfy boys. So we're setting ducks in here. Can your old man walk? No. One of the monsters cut him. He's lost a lot of Outlander. Shh. House. Quiet. Must be a way inside. I'm looking for the blue man. Stay here. Be quiet. Don't move until I get those gates open. Find shelter in Louisa's house. Okay. Where is this crank? Why are they hiding this crank? I need it. I'm fluid. We have your woman, Outlander. I uh, now I want to watch that. Need to get those two inside. Oh. One of the cresses in there could probably open it by removing a screw. Hmm. Can I use my knife? You know, a knife? I have a knife. I've turned many a screw with a knife before. It can be done. Come on, it's clear. Uh, hurry, hurry! We don't need to open both. That seems unnecessary. Damn. You're welcome. Okay. He's just opening one side. Good. He's not used to relying on other people. I'm sorry. We'll be safe in here, won't we? Safer here than out there, that's for sure. Maybe. Hey. Oh. You know Hello, Okami. How's it going? It doesn't make any sense. What you up to, Ty? Has always protected us. Nobody's answer. Is this Luisa's house? Father? We have to get inside. Oh. Just hold on a bit longer, Papa. Yes, Papa. Hmm. Hello? Anybody home? Maybe a familiar voice. Louisa! Open up! It's me, Elena! My god. Stop shouting. You'll draw the monsters. Your name's Polly Dad. Who's this? A friend! Stay back. Father! For God's sake, Julian, let us in. No, no they'll smell the blood. You'll endanger us all. My father will die out here. But that's not my problem. What's going what a on? Dick. These people want to let a dying man into our home. Come now, these people are our friends. Go on, go inside. Come now, this way. You're not from this village. Uh, no. I'm Ethan. Julian, go make yourself useful and check. Julian? I said go! Well, if Elena trusts you, and so do I. Come inside, Ethan. Thank you, Louisa. Living on vibes and the Panera tea before it either stops Watch my heart or gets taken Watch off the menu. Fingers. Yeah, haven't they been sued like two different times by people for that? 
A safe room. We love a good safe room. Louisa, they broke in again. Got more of the livestock. I don't think we'll make it through the winter at this rate. Ernest is still missing too. We can't find him anywhere. Does Mother Miranda abandon us? <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Pictures of the castle. Minimum two times, but I bet there are more coming out of the wood. Would work as a class action. Is it really that strong? Like... Out of all the things that are out and available, <coughs> people are going to go after Panera. I mean, I haven't looked into it much. Maybe they're not like disclosing like how powerful it is or something. So this statue looks like the woman that's on that uh, crest, the maiden. And the shield also looks like the shield that's on the door crest. Okay, so we saved. Come inside, the others are waiting. Outsiders, you're gonna get us all killed. Quiet. Drunkard. He helped Leonardo and Elena. We were doing fine by ourselves. Please, Ethan, take a seat. Is this all that's left from your entire village? All that's left. All that's left. There is no one left. A worthless invalid. A stupid, wailing bitch. Thank God, what a dick. You drag a bloody man and an outsider in here like it's nothing and expect to be all safe? There is no safe. I mean, this is her house, so she can do what she wants. Sorry, bastard out there has been ripped in half. But tomorrow? <clears throat> tomorrow we're all going to be dead. Just like her damn husband. <laughs> Put a stock in it, Roxana. That's enough. Slap her. This house Just kidding, don't slap her. It's terrible. For She's clearly and drunk breathing. Or not, you are all welcome and safe in here. Whatever. Can someone please tell me what the hell is going on here? Where would you we be if we know. threw the hell out? One day we were a quiet, devout village, and the next, the monsters came and attacked us. And they, they kept coming. Wait, Louisa. And where is your husband? Did they? No. N no, he, he is out there. Somewhere. And keep telling yourself that. He, he went to get help. Yes, yes, that's... That's it. He, he went to fetch help. Mm-hmm. Let us pray. Of course. For him. Let us pray. All of us. Good idea. Come. Gather. How come the drunkard doesn't have to take part? Great ones, hear our voice. Together as one in reverence, we call on thee within the endless dark to deliver us into fate's hands. As the midnight moon rises on black wings, so we make our sacrifice and await the light at the end. In life and in death, we give you glory, Mother Miranda. Mm. Now, the tea should be ready. Come help me, Elena, please. That Mother Miranda, huh? Before, there was an old woman near the graveyard. She was a hag. <laughs> um, bitch is crazy as a bag of rats. There is wisdom. How crazy is a bag of rats? And I hope it protected her as it shall protect us. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, this took a turn. Elena, no, stay back. No, let me go. 
You're gone. Oh my god. He's ravaging them. And that, that happened quickly. Shh. Dear God. She protected me from her father. Sorry, father. Hey, hey, that wasn't your father anymore. You did the right thing. Oh my God. Elena, I mean, I've had two hamsters and a ball, so I'd imagine back of rats is pretty eventful. You right. That is kind of chaotic when you put yeah. try to put two hamsters in one ball. So I guess you're right. A big old sack full of writhing rats would be he was already gone. pretty wild. Leave me alone. No. Pat rat escaped. No one wanted that pat rat. Speaking of hamster like things. Hamster hamster critters. Escape the house. Okay. And we find a crank in here first. Is that a thing we can do here? Ammo, perhaps? Metal scraps? Nothing? Nothing. I'm hearing nothing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Super. None of this stuff on the wall can be taken to crank the wells. Okay. Sure. Sure, sure. just get through this wall if only we could just get through a wall nothing nothing what is this 500 lay I assume eventually I will find some place where I can actually spin that. Take the screwdriver out of the key ring if you need it. Key ring? I do need a screwdriver. Where's the key ring? Hmm. Where would a key ring be? Um, also, unrelated to this game at all. But I have finally started um, trying to do some Let's Play videos where I'm not streaming, but I am recording any new games that I'm playing. Um, so I have decided to start with a game called Wildflowers, which is like a farming sim, but there's more to it. There's a lot more storyline than in like a regular um, farming sim. Uh, it's very witchy and cozy, and so far I'm really, really enjoying it. <clears throat> and I have put the first three episodes of that up on the YouTubes. Okay, how do I... Oh, examine. There we go. Yes. Okay. So I needed that. But I don't know if I can get back out there. Maybe I can. So. I love how I'm just like casually exploring this house while it's on fire. Damn, the fire's moving fast. <coughs> um. Can I get in the car and drive through the door? Oh, I can. Truck key, yes. 
God, I hope I don't have to drive far. What are you thinking? Step back. We can bust out with this. R2 hit the gas. <clears throat> I don't think that worked. Are you all right? I'm, I'm fine. Let me back up again. The fire. There isn't any time. Oh my God, we're gonna die. More to go, but up. Grab on. Hurry. <clears throat> Try not to breathe in the smoke. I know. Thank you, Ethan. <coughs> you're kind. You're kind. I hope your family is safe. I do too. Once we get out of here, maybe you'll get to meet them. Uh -huh. be oh. Oh shit. Come on. It'll hold. Will it? Will it though? Are you sure? There. That's our way out. Thank God. But what then? <clears throat> the village is so full of monsters. We can't fight them. There's too many. Hey. Hey, don't talk like that. We'll find a safe house to put you in until I can find my daughter. My of hunch course. is she's in that old castle. No. That place is full of nothing but blood and death. And I don't want to be alone while you're... Father? Oh, my God. Elena, no. That's not him. Not anymore. He said my name. Father. Wait, it's not safe. What? A, what are you doing? Stay there. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. You're on your own. You're on your own, honey. Ethan, go. Okay, I'm glad she realizes. Rip Elena, right? <laughs> yeah. Reach for me. Oh, honey. Oh, yeah. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Yeah. That's sad. She seemed nice. I liked her. I liked her. Everyone's dying on me. I liked her a lot more than Mia. This is just too much. I don't know. I feel bad saying it, but, like, there's something about the actress who portrayed Mia... I just don't like her face like she gives me weird bad vibes and I feel bad saying that because you know people can't help their face but like just, she just does or maybe the way they animated it or something I don't know but there's just something off-putting about the way she looks